Hello everyone. So we will cover the remaining parts. In this particular video, we will cover what is data class. To understand the concept of data class, we should firstly understand what are the types of SAP data. Now, in SAP, we have majorly three types of data. What are those three types of data? First one is master data. Second one is transaction data. And the third one is configuration data. We will understand the meaning of these three types of data and then we will cover the topic data class. What is master data? Which is accessed very frequently but changed very rarely or I will say it's never changed. Master data is that type of data which is accessed very frequently but it changed very rarely. Now, transaction data. What is transaction data? Which is always, always changing or I will say number of data or number of records are continuously increasing if it is transaction data. Now, what is configuration data? A configuration data is which we can customize. Now, what do you mean by customize? It means we are doing the customization. We are doing some enhancement or we are doing some modification. Customization is always, always depends upon the business scenario or the customer requirement. Anyways, we'll take example and you will understand clearly what is the meaning of these three types of data. Master data, which is accessed very frequently, but changed very rarely. Transaction data, which is always, always changing. Number of records are always increasing. Configuration data is that type of data which you are customizing. And why you are customizing? Because of the customer requirement or some business scenario. Now we will take an example. Suppose. suppose I have a company ABC. In that company, what is the best example of master data? Employee data of that organization is the one of the best example of master data. Suppose I want to access the details of any employee. I will use the employee ID of that employee. See what? It is never, it is accessed very frequently. Employee data is accessed very frequently and it changed very rarely or I'll say it's never changed. So in a company, the employee data is best example of your master data. Now, what is transaction data? Now, in that particular company, suppose we are doing, there's a lots of transactions. Suppose banking transaction, revenue transactions, or any other transactions, which company is doing. So this is the best example of your transaction data. Simple. Suppose we have lots of banks available. So whatever the transactions are going in the bank, that's the best example of your transaction data. Number of records are continuously increasing. Suppose simple example in the today's world, even for the 10 rupees or 20 rupees transaction, we are doing Paytm or we are doing Amazon Pay. So number of records are continuously increasing. It's the one of the best example of your transaction data. So whatever 
that transactions are going in that company is one of the best example of transaction data. Now, what is configuration data? A configuration data is which we are customizing, means we are doing the customization based upon the requirement, based upon the requirement. Suppose in that company, there are two types of employees. One employee grade is senior consultant and other are, I'll say, suppose other grades are there. Those are not senior consultant. Now, those who have the grade senior consultants, they should get a vehicle allowance. But those who do not have the grade senior consultant, vehicle allowance is not applicable. It means what we are doing based upon the employee designation, there's a customization in the system because it is a requirement that those employees have the grade, suppose senior consultant, they should get a vehicle allowance. Others should not get a vehicle allowance. It means based upon that particular requirement or based upon the scenario, we are doing the customization in the system. So this is the best example of your configuration data. So we have three types of data in SCP system, master data, transaction data, and configuration data. To understand the concept of data class, we should understand this particular types of data. Now, what is data class? Data class tells us in which portion of database your table data will get stored. Suppose I am saying in this particular table, we maintained this data in the table. So data class will tell us in which portion, in which part of the database, your this particular table data will get stored. Suppose we'll go for an example. We'll understand this by example. Suppose I have a database, suppose Oracle, Suppose simple example we are taking, our current system is using suppose database for it. Suppose database has three partitions, suppose master data, suppose 20%, transaction data, suppose 60%, and suppose I will say configuration data, suppose 20%. We might have other portions also in the database, but just we are taking three portions. Suppose there are three portions in the database. Now, we'll see the data class. If I will go to back button, I will go to technical settings. I will go to F4 help of the data class. And you can see for this particular table, I choose the data class AWPL0. It means this particular table data will store into this particular portion of the database. Suppose if I will take the data class as a double P L one in that case, my table data will store into this particular portion of the database. If I will take the data class A double P L two. So my table data will store into this portion of the database. So it is very important whenever you are creating a table. Just understand that table is storing which, which type of data. 
it is master data transaction data or configuration data depends upon that you have to choose the right data class because our database has specific portions so you should always 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 store the table data into right portion of the database suppose in this case if i considered that my table is storing the transaction data so i should choose the data class a double p l one so always always think that your table is storing which type of data depends upon that choose the right data class because in that case your data will store into that particular portion of the database so what we learnt in this video what are the various types of data available in sap and depends upon the type of data available in that table you have to pick the right data class because data class will determine that your table data will store into which portion of the database so that's it in this particular video thank you